add my ugly mug. There you go. All right, there's three people. So if one of you three can just say something on YouTube, if you can hear me, because my audio apparently, oh, there's 10 people now. All right, people can hear me. Thank you, SCSU300. So um, here to talk about, give the update on Rex shares, uh, FEPI, uh, their current holdings and how they're doing. I just checked the website. Their latest distribution is not yet announced. I'll hit refresh again, and I'll also check my email. And I don't see anything. So, so yeah, we'll have to uh, talk about something else. We'll talk. We'll go through the spreadsheet. Sounds good. Sounds good. Th thank you, everyone, for responding to that. All right, so I'm going to share a different screen. Present. Stop screen. There's my ugly face. Let's pr present the new screen. I'm going to pull up the FEPI, FEPI sheet right here. All right, so this is FEPI's current holdings. Um, for those of you that are not aware, uh, Rex shares the fund manager of FEPI. You know, this is one of their essentially their only high income ETFs. And, you know, they hold several different stocks. They own them outright. Right. And then what they do is they sell calls on them and then they pay us a premium via distribution every single month. So what you see on the screen are the current holdings uh, as of today. Maybe I'll zoom in a little. There you go. Let me go back to stream yard. OK. Go Feppy. Let's go ROD. What's up, Dividend King? All right, let's go back to the sheet. All right, so <laughs> their hot their biggest holding currently is Micron Technology, 7.55% weighting. Second is Google, 7.05% holding. Also, keep in mind, I pulled this as of the weekend. So if there were any changes today, which you know, today is Monday, March 25th then it's not taking that. Their holdings probably update tomorrow morning anyway. So their third largest holding is Broadcom, 7.04%. And their fourth is Microsoft, so on and so forth. What else do they have? Well, Microsoft Meta, Palo Alto, Netflix, NVIDIA, Amazon, Salesforce, Apple, Tesla, Intel, AMD, and Adobe, Okay, and also cash. So the more important part is, you know, what are they doing? They sell calls. So here's all their calls. All of their calls, you know, that they're selling expire on on April 19th, okay? So why do they sell calls? They sell calls in order to generate premium, um, which obviously allows them to pay us a portion of um, via distribution every single month. So that's why they're able to produce the 25% yield. Let me check on StreamYard. Can FEPI be a long-term ETF? What is the risk in the down market? Will dividends possibly increase like JEPI? Uh, I don't think, well, they held their declaration announcement until after hours. Yeah, so I mean, if the price of FEPI moves up, um, then I would think obviously their distribution could be higher. But if it stays around $55, $56, whatever it is, uh, that distribution amount is probably going to be again, around the same, because they pay a 25% yield, and that seems to be their, their sweet spot as of right now. So let's take a look at their, their current calls. Uh, first, let me check the email and then the website, see if anything updated. Uh, no update, no email. All right, so what I highlighted in green, these are the calls that are out of the money in double digits so their adobe calls you know are again these expire expire april 19th so they have you know a little less than a month um these are out of the money which is good so there's more potential for upside microsoft again five percent out of the money so that that could th their calls could get blown through so in reality when they sell calls which are you know i believe typically a month or two out um in expiration you know you want the underlying stock to not go above the strike price of that call if it does that could produce a loss 
uh, which is okay because they can't settle that and, you know, it happens. But, you know, as of right now, so far what we see, everything is in the positive, right? So they're doing good. They're doing good. They're doing good. And then you see this. I didn't highlight this black for some reason. But Micron Technology, ticker symbol, ticker symbol MU, is 1.82% in the money. So obviously Micron is currently priced above this. So any gap, you know, if it closes above this price by the expiration or whenever they choose to close out those calls, then they'll have to pay. They'll have to cash settle that difference and that'll go under the loss, you know, loss bucket. AMD, way out of the money, looking pretty good. Uh, Microsoft in the money, 0.68%. Let's take a break and go to StreamYard, see any messages. Um, thanks. You're welcome. I don't know what I did, but thank you. Um, so, yeah, Adobe, way out of the money in green. NVIDIA, boom, 3% in the money, 5% in the money. And then down here, 6% in the money. But NVIDIA has been you know, blowing up as usual. So... You know, they're probably, you know, going to lose money unless for some reason NVIDIA comes down in price before April 19th. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Meta, 7% out of the money, looking pretty good. Alphabet's 2.55% out of the money. AMD, 6% out of the money. Adobe, 20% out of the money. What in the, Aviva, AV, is this even the, did I mess up this ticker? No, this is Avgo, see? <laughs> of Viva. Gotta love it. Here we go. It's the beauty of going live, right? All right. So this is Avgo for Broadcom and Broadcom has, yeah, that's not right. This has got to go out four. All right. So Broadcom 5% out of the money. So this does not have to be shaded uh, in black. And then what else we got? We got Micron, 18% in the money. Damn, that one got blown through. Um, Alphabet, 4% in the money. A lot of black, you know, 2%, 3%, 7% in the money. NVIDIA, 1% in the money. And then we got Intel, you know, 14% out of the money. I think they went down today. Some China news. And then AMD, same thing, 17% out of the money. MU, 14% in the money. That stock must have gone up a lot recently. Tesla, as you know, has been going down. So net, right now they're 10% out of the money. And then Micron is 10% in the money. Long story short, all things considered, the average percent out of the money is positive, which is good, 4.1%. And again, these expire in less than a month. So it's okay. It's doing okay. It's doing pretty decent. Let's check the uh, the messages. Micron, do you know if they sell calls on 100% of the position they own or just some? Good question. Good question. So if we go to Micron, right, how many uh, how many shares do they have? Here, what they got? It's 105 plus 100 plus. Ninety-five. Keep going. The answer is probably yes, and they probably update it frequently. That's why they open new positions. Um, but this is a good good reason to show everyone, you know, to see it, to see it live. Uh, what was the last one? One fifteen. Mu. How many more are there? All right. So that's it. All right. So we can uh, get rid of that one. All right. So we got 415 uh, MUs on the calls, right? So if we go to the top, we check out MU holdings. We have, of course, it doesn't show up. Why would, why would it show the holdings? You know, uh, what's MU's price? MU's price, guys. Let's see. Distribution announced, guys. I don't think so. Still not. All 
one seventeen point four five that divided by that format that's about eighty nine thousand hundred $899. Well, I would say, again, this is not completely updated, but based on what I see, no, they're not selling, you know, they have more positions to sell, but, you know, we could check the prospectus as well, but I believe based on the prospectus, yes, they can. Um, and do they, um, I, again, we'd have to check each one, but I would think so that they take advantage of most of them. Um, what else we got? Yeah, that question was for Micron, but they're pro he's probably talking about all of them. I found the announcement around 2 p.m. Where do you see that, Joyce? Where's the announcement? I don't get an email. Or just say just say the number. What what's the uh how much is it? I'll update my spreadsheet. We'll see what it looks like. All right, so let's go back here. Yeah, so if we look at it doesn't even show the weighting. The weighting shows zero. So you can't even see what the calls, you know. But yeah, it doesn't look like they're selling calls on every single um you know, holding. So anyway, let's continue. Let's go down to the bottom of the spreadsheet. So the total net assets is 139 million outstanding shares, 2,475,000, which makes the NAV around 56.54, which is, you know, it's pretty damn good. Now this again, this was as of Friday. So if I go here, see if this function works. Of course it doesn't. Am I still sharing? Yeah, I am. Joyce found a dollar nineteen. That Joyce, that was last month's payment. So that might you might be looking at the wrong thing. All right, I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom. Let's see how they're performing overall. All right, so when I put today, that was Friday, <laughs> the price was 56.72. I'm not sure what it closed at today. Uh, it launched at 51.69. So that's a capital appreciation of $5.03. Total dividends paid to date, again, it's not including today's price or today's dividend. Uh, we're looking at a return of $9.75 per share if you bought at inception. That's an 18% return on FEPI. You know, that's that's really, really good. So, you know, if you look at just capital appreciation, I guess we could do that too. That divided by the launch price uh, looks around 9%. Let's see if I could format this. Format number, where are we at? There we go. That's pretty easy on the other computer. And then dividends, we could do that too. Do equals that divided by the launch price. Boom also around 9%. Boom. All right. So again, FEPI has performed well. And we take a look at their, you know, their latest dividends so far. You know, they paid $1.15. They paid $1.18. They paid $1.20. Um, they paid $1.19. We're just waiting on the March announcement, which is coming. Anytime now, um, and then we can update that. So it's probably, you know, going to be around the dollar nineteen mark. It's probably going to be, you know, maybe a dollar twenty around that price. So it's not going to be any shock, I don't think. So, uh, hey, happy camp, hamper, um, happy camper with dividends, guys. Check out her YouTube. Um, she's uh, she's making some good content out there. Her name's Corey. If you're in my Discord. So Michael Johnson, hello from the pillow. Hello from the Philippines. What's up, Michael? Um, so we got 72 people. 
So I guess I'll go back to spreadsheet. And again, so declaration date is today. Tomorrow is X dividend date. So that means you had to own it today before the close in order to qualify uh, for the distribution. And then you would get paid on March 28th, which when is that? I guess Friday. No, Thursday, actually. Yeah, because Friday's a Friday's the mark market is closed. So we'll see how that goes. So let's pull back up the website and we'll go from there. First, we'll go to take some comments. I have a big buy ready for tomorrow on Feppy. All right, Colby. So Colby, you're going to buy in the discount. So we're going to stop this screen and then start the other. Got to get used to this. All right, same always buying the X dividend date. Hello from Cayman Islands. Hello, everyone. Yeah, I guess I'm practicing going live <coughs> on my Mondays. This was this was not planned, but I I was just gonna make a video on the distribution. So I figured I'd make my video and then talk about the distribution when they posted it, but still not posting it. But we'll see how it goes. MSTR, yeah, man. That's a, that's a good point, uh, Crystal Ball. Let, let's, um, I could pull up that, uh, my other spreadsheets. Hello from Down Under. I just checked the rec shares, no post yet. Yeah, man, what, what's going on? So, yeah, I don't really want to pull up Misty because this is this video is about Feppy. All right, so just an update on Feppy. I did check the uh, 19A notice, and I didn't see that last month's was return of capital. We could double check, though. So we know, you know, dating back, if you look, November was 100% return of capital. The whole dollar fifteen was return of capital. And then if you go to December's payment, 100% of that was return of capital, $1.18. And then if we go to January, January's payment was $1.20, also 100% return of capital. But the February payment, which was last month, there's no document here. Can you guys, wait, am I sharing this still? Ah, it didn't pull. Sorry, guys. I got to present the whole screen. Higher screen. It doesn't let me. Oh, you got to love this. All right. Anyway, can you guys, hopefully you guys can see this. Let me just double check. I'll buy Misty once it pays a $12 dividend. <laughs> yeah. You got to take the twelve dollar drop though on your on your uh, your share price. Hello from Chicago. What's up, G man? Are you a Giants fan from Chicago? Feppy Divvies, so good trying to Mimi average up. Yeah. So what I was trying to say, if you pull up the nineteen A on the website, you can see these documents. This shows you how much they pay of return of capital. So November, December. And January were all 100% return of capital, which, you know, typically means it's not going to be, you know, taxable when all said and done, which is pretty good. But a lot of people get concerned when they hear return of capital. But keep in mind, when it comes to, um, you know, FEPI, you go back to the other screen. This is annoying. I'm going to have to get the paid version, I guess. So... When it comes to return of capital, the thing that the thing that is smart about FEPI, what they do is they cash settle their calls. So they're the calls that get blown out of water, that get you know, their strikes, it goes it goes way above the strike. They they cash settle them. And that, you know, that would be considered a loss, right? 
they don't actually get assigned. So they still keep the shares, right? So those shares are sitting put. Um, so obviously they're getting, you know, the premium from the calls that they sold. And then they have the losses. They can use those losses to pay us, you know, an offset, the return um, from the premium. So the fact that they're holding the shares and not selling them, we're seeing that appreciation in the share price as they go up too. It's kind of like the synthetic, except it's an actual share. Can't they roll it up? Well, <clears throat> I mean, they can. That's basically what they're doing. They cash settle and then they sell another call. Um, if if it's a physical roll, you know, that's another story. Um, but I think, you know, they settle it and then they, I think it's two separate transactions. But I don't know. That's a good question for the fund manager. Um, it, I don't think it really matters, to be honest. Let me check my email. Okay, website is not updated and email. Nothing, man. What is going on? All right, let's keep going on their website, see what they got. So, yeah, again, this fund incepted October 11th, 2023. So it's pretty new. It's under a year old. Um they own tech, they sell calls. We know this. And that's pretty much it, man. March, March payment, not there. Um, let's go, Rex. Let's go, Rex. And yeah, that's it. So if you want to get the emails, by the way, for the distribution, this is where you go. And that's pretty much the gist of it. All right, let's go. Let's talk until they announce the distribution. Any questions? You want to talk about Fepi? Rex shares is prepping for the party. They forgot to post the dividend. Yeah, man. Sucks. I got invited to that thing, but I can't go, unfortunately. Remember, if your call or put expires this week, it will expire on Thursday. Yep. Instead of Friday. Friday market is closed. Market is closed. But my job's not. Is anyone else? Is anyone off Friday? I would wait till tomorrow to see what is up. Last month, Rex announced distribution email by 6 p.m. Okay. Well, that sucks. Hopefully, it's a little earlier. Rex shares, if you're listening to my live, which you're probably not, there's only 92 people, just post the damn thing so I can, uh, you know, talk about it and not make another video. Long Fepi hedged with a PSQ vertical. My job is options, so I guess I am off. Colby. Colby, so you make a living off of options? If so, that's that's pretty awesome. I'm going to open my Discord for a live discussion while we're here. Okay. There it is. Okay, so guys, my Discord is open. If you guys want to have a live discussion, going to bite the bullet on TSLL. As my wife uh, disturbs me, even though she knows I'm making videos. Um, disconnect here. Fepi gives crappy returns. <laughs> Jet Engine does not like Fepi. So, you know, Fepi's doing all right, man. I don't know what you're not happy about. Are you not happy about the capital gains or, or the dividend? Options are awesome. I've lived off of them and dividends for almost a year now. Michael Johnson, that's amazing. How much capital do you need for that, Michael Johnson? Just went here. Let me show that. I got to start doing that. Just went in on Spy T, hoping 20% is achievable. Um, yeah, I hope so too. Spy T looks like a great fund. Let's see. Let me uh, go to the website and see if they uh, update anything yet. 
Although per Corey, it'll be 6 p.m. So at that rate, that's not happening. Nothing there. Check your email. Corey is on the Discord. So is Lashir. Junior says, what's your cost of living in the Philippines? Oh, Michael lives in the Philippines. I'm guessing it's cheap. CDLX went up 410 today. That, that's pretty good. All right, we got 103 people. So if any of you are on the Discord and have questions about FEPTI or I guess anything else in general, we'll... we'll Now's the time. You know, we got some downtime. Oh, Michael Johnson, I'm 52 and was laid off last year. 100K invested, started trading options. And even though living off some of it, it doesn't cost much here in the Philippines. So 100K, man. All I got to do is get 100K and go to the Philippines, I guess. So what are you trading options on? refresh nothing you guys want me to pull up anything else while i'm here check the yield max website see if they posted their trades wow 27 minutes already that's that's nuts how about mstr yeah man I wasn't going to pull up Misty, but I guess I should. Let's pull up their uh, their their calls. Stop screen and then present another screen. This is very annoying. All right, so here's Misty. Let's see how let's see the damage. Wow, three percent in the money, and it's only Monday. They have three trading days left. So it's not looking good. Um, I don't know what kind of trades they got going today, but the price is at 43.34. Wow. Yeah, so I updated, you know, and I'll talk about this in tomorrow's video. So Misty went up 13.75%. MSTR, Mister, went up 21.86%. That's insane. When does Clip announce? I think Clip announces today as well. Elliot Hall, I'm very pleased with Feppy. Coney won't stop going up. I wanted to buy more. Yeah, man. Just like Misty, right? Here's Jet Engine. He responded. It's just that Feppy gives mediocre income and mediocre appreciation. There are better routes of achieving your goal. Indeed. So, yeah. I mean, it, we saw the returns. It's pretty good. So I don't know what's better. You know, I'll go back and show you the returns in a second. All right. So let me share, switch. Oh, no, I am sharing the right screen. Okay. So. So far, again, when did FEPI launch? I think October of last year. So since October, capital appreciation, almost 10%. Dividend return, about 10%. You know, 9%. 9% plus. So uh, Jet Engine, that's pretty good. I mean, I don't know. I know, again, the underlings have done, if you own them outright, much better. But, again, it's an income fund. Misty has been going up. Yeah, man. Yeah, crystal ball. Misty is crazy. Michael Johnson, I did pull up 20K into my bank for crypto. Up 10% in four months with dividend. Yeah. Feppy is greater than JEPQ, JEPI, and YLDs. Uh, so far, yeah. They've been doing well. All right. Any Anything with this announcement yet or what? Are we shutting down here? I got one share of Misty at 32. I don't know that'll be able to afford anymore at this rate. Yeah, it's in the 40s. We keep all, we all of us keep waiting. 
And it just keeps going up. So at this point, you might as well wait till X dividend date. But who knows what they're going to pay. Let's go back to the spreadsheet and check the other funds. Check Coney. Sneak peek for tomorrow morning's video, right? Coney, 4.37% in the money. Not good. Yeah, that's not a good start for the week. Again, there's three trading days left. Coney price is at 29.41. Let's take a look at how it did today overall. Coin went up 9.47%. Coney's cap now, but it went up 5%. That's pretty good. It's at 29.41. Wow. Let's take a look at a Tesla. Tesla actually went up today, and it stayed up. Not much, but a little. So Tesla went up 1.05%. Tesla only went up 0.89%. Their calls are at the money, but even with that little gain, they're already in the money. You know, 30,000 30, contracts in the money already. That, that was a damn shame, you know? Um... Jet engine, please do thanks. I don't know what that's in relation to. If you're if you're playing, Bob Davis wins the award of the longest comments ever. Bob Davis, unfortunately, I can't read all of your comments, but I do read most of them. They are extremely long, and I appreciate them. <laughs> um, how do you do? You type them or you talk them? You talk it through the phone. If you're playing the ETF monthly dividend game gains game, please be aware of trading dividends for capital 119 Feppy for March. Loving it. I mean, it's one 119 was last month, guys. So I don't think everyone thinks it's 119. It's not 119. They didn't post anything yet. 188 shares of Misty. Go bad and man. You're gonna be happy, man. Let's let's go check out their income. There we go, Misty. Let's go to the payment tab. Again, we're looking at they made twelve eleven per share so far. So who knows what they'll pay? But maybe they'll pay fifty percent in reserve. You know, fifty percent of the nav. That's still a six dollar payment. That is like insane. That's insane. It is posted a dollar nineteen for March confirmed. Bob Davis, where are you seeing this man? Help me out here. Confirmed. I don't see nothing. Um, Isaiah Harris missed out on Misty. Yeah, most of us did. Barbara Nye, 100 shares. 100 shares of what? Misty? Bob Davis seems pretty confident about his 119. Anyone in the Discord know anything? If you're on there, I can't even see it. I'm going to move this screen. There you go. Barbara, yes. Stand by. Let me dig up the website. I mean, what website besides theirs would you use? 100 shares of Misty. That's going to be a nice payment this month. Could you imagine? $6 payment. Oof. The goal with these funds, here's Jet Engine. The goal with these funds is to get 100K invested. Once you hit that mark, then you could really see the income work for you. Well, yeah, of course. The more you got, the better. I aped into 390 of Misty as I'm a big fan of BTC. What's your average, Jonathan? If it's $20, you, you're a happy man. All right. Still nothing on the uh, distribution until I hear from Bob Davis. Um but yeah, I mean, what else we got? Thirty-two fifty-six is your average. Yeah, that's that's still good. You're still like ten bucks up in capital. So, you know, but imagine the people that just bought all at the open. Like their capital has doubled, and they're about to get like a three hundred percent distribution. Like that's insane. If I go back to my spreadsheet, if they paid out everything they've earned. That's a yield of, well, 
yield on cost of 660% if you bought at 20. The current yield would, would be 335%. So I'm wondering if they're going to want the website to say 300% yield and pay what they need to to do that. As an RIT, the company has to pay 90% of earnings. Yes, but again, for the fiscal year, which means, you know, the taxable year. So Feppy's been out since, <coughs> I'm sorry, not Feppy. Misty has been out since, uh, well, it just came out. But the fiscal year, I believe, ends in October, right? What do I have? Here it is. So this their fiscal year will end October 31st. So they have a ways. So they don't have to pay out 90% this month. You know, they can reserve it because they're probably thinking after the, you know, the the having whatever they call it, it, the implied volatility probably won't be as crazy. Like hitting your numbers. The striped Barbara, I'm up 200%. Yeah, you are. Good job. Um, then she said 100. Not sure what that means. All right. I haven't heard back from Bob Davis. No update on the distribution. So I don't know how long I'm going to give this. Um, but you're probably hearing, you heard a baby in the background before crying. Misty should be a good through the BTC bull run into, into 2025. Yeah. Let's hope so throughout the whole year. I don't know if I'm going to cover it anymore, though. Um, I know a lot of people want me to, but I'm, I'm supposed to be covering it in video next month. So that's the thing. All right, what else we got? We got 113 people. If anyone has a question, leave it in the comments. I just posted the link. I guess it failed. I don't run the internet. Well, just type the link. Type the website. I'll pull it up. Um, anyway, any other questions? Let me just check this. We'll do, he said. Nothing there, nothing there. Yeah, so that's the update. Um, let's if I go to the holdings tab. Let's see if they oh they posted the trades. Is that for yeah, that's for today. So Misty, what'd they do? Buy call, sell put. So they're adding to the synthetic two positions. And oh my God, look at that strike. 2,130. Unbelievable. Could you imagine? And by the way, guys, since I've been covering this, look at the price. Misty started at $20. MSTR at that point was $672. Look where they're at now. I mean, insane. Insane. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, let's see here. I'm intrigued by an an Uber yield max. Is Uber profitable yet? <coughs> if they're volatile, I guess we could take it. Uber, you know, they, they're, they're involved with everything. Do you think Mr. will keep... Let me post it. Do you think Mr. will keep climbing like he did today, the rest of the week, or will the resistance pull it back? I mean, today was a pretty big jump, so I, I'm not even going to try to guess. I have no idea. Uh, PSEC goes ex-dividend tomorrow. Not too late to buy. Um, I don't think live chat allows links, or you have to approve them on your end. Yeah, I don't, I'm in, well, I'm in StreamYard now. I probably can't approve links here. Type FEPI Dividend March in Google. I mean, why can't they post it on their website? All right, I'll try. Not seeing it. Um, have you seen the Dub Copy Trader app? No, I haven't, Jonathan. 
uh, Misty from Yieldmax. Yes. Picked up 210 shares of Misty this morning. If you got it this morning, then you're probably good. Thank you for all that you do. This is entertainment. That's what it's all about, right? This is for fun and entertainment. I'm selling 533 shares of Jeppy, says Eric White. What are you buying, Eric White? That is an estimate, not the actual dividend. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, posting first. I'll get Misty in 2026. Yeah, me too. Does Misty have any room to grow this week? I don't know. Junior, you got to ask these crypto people. Go ask Ethan, Ethan Galstad. Um, posting first, it's from Stock Event, and it's an estimate of, oh, it's an estimate, yeah. They will post on X and or by email before anywhere else. See, Corey knows everything, so I'd have to go with her. Eric White, yes, sir. I bought Misty. Yeah, man, it is what it is. No, uh, no announcement. I'll have to update it in the morning. Um, but while we're here, might as well check out the today's trades on Coney and Tesla. Let's see what Coney did today. If we go to their holdings, to the bottom, we could see their trades. All right. So this is a sold call. And buy to close a put. So more more contracts had to be closed out. I guess people are selling out of Coney to get into Misty. That's my guess. And then a buy to close at two sixty seven fifty. Based on what they paid, they lost money on that transaction. So yeah, not good there. So I mean, hopefully there's no trades on Tesla, or else I got a lot of work to do. I'm gonna have to log off. Um, why did that happen? Let's go to there. You go. All right, holdings. All right, no trades for Tesla, thankfully. So good. All right, Coney and Misty have a trade. So at least I know what I'm getting myself into after this. All right, so what do we got? I plan on grabbing Misty this morning, but with the run up, I got half of what I originally planned. I have 50 shares of Misty. Misty is so pretty. Yeah. If you missed out on Misty, Ulti will still give you some exposure um, at a much cheaper price. Yeah. Uh, Ulti's been not doing that well. Plus, they own GameStop. Uber is about to become profitable. About to. That's good. What ETF has 70% plus yield consistently? Consistently? None. You know, that's gonna. that's a tough thing to find. Uh, thanks to you and your family for all you are doing. Just so you know, you only need half half hour today to say da sell sell daily options on the index funds cash flow thirty percent. Yeah, um, I mean, I guess that's true, right? What is what of the lesser active yield max ETF prices do you see increasing long term? Um, well, it depends who the, which underlyings are at a 52 week low. I know Zomo uh, and PP were at a 52 week low, and Uber is profitable. Okay, picked up some AIYY. Please cover Misty on weekends. <laughs> Listen, man, if I'm gonna cover it, I'm gonna cover it daily, so because. For me to cover it on weekends, I'd have to update the spreadsheet every day. So if I'm going to update it every day, I'm going to talk about it every day. I'm, I'm debating on adding NVIDI and keeping Misty for another month through the halving. Don't get your, that's not a promise, though. That's just me thinking if it's, if it's possible now that I have a little more time on my hands. Um, but we'll see. Um, what else? Any news on BRRR? I have no idea. All right, so let's go back to the website. No update there. Let's pull back up our FEPI spreadsheet. I'm waiting to plug in the number. Waiting. Oh, 
It would go right here. Never mind. So we'll see. Probably going to end this uh, this live stream. Isaiah Harris, it's dangerous to buy Misty. Yes, I agree. I mean, that's why I'm not buying it. Let me, let me check Twitter. The having could be a sell the news event. That's what I'm thinking. So I'm like debating on holding Coney or not. Yeah, freaking rec shares. They post something, but about their double leverage funds. Don't they know we're waiting on this uh, distribution announcement? Got a feeling they're waiting for 6 p.m. Yeah, I'm not going to make it till 6 p.m. I just started buying AIYY, whatever I've been watching, AMD, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I guess I'm going to end this because I got to go. I got to eat uh, eat dinner. Uh, there's Corey. I bought one share of MSTR. Damn, high roller. I was scared when it dropped to 1300 but I held it until today. Good job. Do you think a stock split in the future for M mstr yeah why not man that's they're about to hit 2k so does rex typically declare late in the day last time i believe um corey said they announced at 6 p.m so um you may have to wait and go live with another youtuber by then because i gotta i gotta shut down i'll refresh again but that's pretty much it nothing man Yeah, 6 p.m. Yeah, so is what it is. All good. Um, look forward to NVIDIA. Even though, like, my thumbnail says, Feppy announcement, which sucks. My true serenity. Thanks for all that you do. You're, you're very welcome. Way to go, Corey. Look forward to NVIDIA coverage. Thank you. I think a lot of people are looking forward to that. Way to go. Happy camper from your friend from Tennessee. Thanks for all that you do. I know this is Feppy, but new thoughts about Coney. <coughs> Get some water. And now I now have the glare of the sun on me. Coney. Coney's a legit company, right? They're they're essentially the monopoly of right the the crypto space, at least in the U.S., what other brokerage, what other app are you going to use to buy crypto? Are you going to cover NVIDIA like Tesla Coney? Yes, I am, Eric White. Next month, though, after the uh, declaration date. Uh, dividend, not yet. Project X, we're waiting for 6 p.m. I mean, I'm trying to make it, but hopefully if... Hopefully they'll announce it at 6 p.m. All right, 52-week low on MSTR is 2:30. Oh, that's crazy. Nvidia, Nvidia a long-term fund, in my opinion. Yeah, I got I got Nvidia at least, so I got some of that. I know they're at 30 bucks. Missed the X date is April 4th. Still time to buy Robin Hood. I look at Coney, Costco dividend for Coney. All right, I guess. While we're here, I'm just going to update my spreadsheet. If we go to Misty, right? Misty has added, well, the, the 950 is closed. Misty has added to the 1700, right? So if we go to the holdings, you see the trade, right? They added here to the 1700. They added two contracts, and this is how much they paid for each. Okay. Hopefully, everyone can see that. Let me just double check. Yep. Um, let me catch up on my comments. 3200 Coney. Oh my God, that's amazing. I look at Coney as superstore for crypto. Yeah, like Costco. It's true. Guess Rex doesn't want a lot 
of last minute buyers after declaration. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cause uh aftermarket hours ends at 6 p.m. Right. Bob Davis, our favorite commenter. Wait, what? You can buy crypto on other DIY brokers like Robinhood. Yeah, but Robinhood, it doesn't have many tokens, you know, not as much as uh, Coinbase. I consider the only Coinbase um, competition really Binance. And a lot of people in the U.S., I know, at least don't trust Binance. It's kind of like a shady company. They keep getting sued. Um, but yeah, I mean, for the people that have Robinhood, obviously they're probably not going to use Coinbase because Robinhood's so much easier and, and feels safer in general. Coney is safe bet to stay in through the having Eric White. Yeah, I'd rather be in Coney than Misty. That is for sure. Coney and Misty should be good for at least the next year because of the bull run. Maybe, maybe not. Let's check Twitter again. Yeah, like everyone says, they're going to wait till six. All right, so let's update our holdings. So two contracts. So what's today? 25th. You guys get to see me live updating my spreadsheets now, even though it's a Feppy video. So some people may not like this. Um, so if I go back to the holdings, the buy call which is this transaction right here, it cost them $339.96. $339.96. All right. So that costs $67,992. And then the sell put would give them a credit. So they got a credit of $193.96. So we do negative 193.96. That brings in 38,792, uh, which keeps the running total to 1,957,550. I'll update uh, the figures in green tomorrow morning when the holdings get updated. And then um, again, MSTR is priced at 1856. Their strike, this strike is 18, 1700. So it's crazy. So what else? Let me check the comments real quick. There we go. What does that mean? I don't see nothing. All right. Um, that's a long comment. I have QQQI, Phoebe, AIYY, blah, blah, blah. I have 15K dividends. This 15K dividends. That's nice. I haven't received my email yet. Check the website. Nothing posted. Appreciate that, G-Man. I think Feppy just posted 119. If someone else says that, 185K a year. By the way, Eric, Eric White, I'm not sure if you're serious, but that's last month's payment. 185K a year. Yeah. Posting a Project X. Very nice. BlackRock stores all its crypto in Coinbase. Nav drop greater than dividend whole month after month. Chaps, my buttocks. Earlier, there was no sound. So now there is. That's why I said there we Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I don't know what happened earlier. But newbie here. What is the risk with Misty? Just want to better understand. Well, their implied volatility is about, what, 160%. It's very risky. Um, I am not a crypto guy, but just check out the company in general. What do they do? Are they a company that's going to be around long term or are they just moving up because their balance sheet holds Bitcoin? You know, so I think it's, you know, the latter. I think they because they own Bitcoin, they've been going up. And if Bitcoin drops, you know, as will they. I'm not sure, you know, company wise, if they're a great long term fit, but I don't know enough about them. Um, it's crypto, it's crypto, it's crypto. Yes, it is. All right. So if I go back to Misty, which is crypto, they sold a call that expires 328 with an expiration date. <coughs> I'm sorry, with a strike price of 2130. So what I normally do, I just go here. I go to the current day. I'll plug in the new expiration date. Two contracts. And then I'll plug in how much they made. 34.25 is how much they made. 
So I'll do a negative 34.25 because when you do options, you see that, you know, your brokerages as a negative for the credit. What is the strike price? I already forgot. I think it's 2130. Yep. 2130. 2130. So that is 14.76% out of the money with now three trading days. So that's pretty good. They're keeping it safe. So now their total income for the weekly calls is 1 million. So if we take this, well, first let me update the active tab. Let me check the comments though. It's crypto. Thank you. I Beware of missing out FOMO. Yeah. I believe they also make software, but mostly crypto. Well, yeah, they, that's, I think that's what they do. Something with software, but they just have Bitcoin on their balance sheet. I think Tesla did, but they sold it way back. Uh, you have to believe and have confidence on the underlying. That's why I love NVIDIA and Fepi. Yeah, I mean, you should believe in the underlying. Uh, CBOE, VIX versus IV. What's the correlation? I mean, it's different exchange. Well, it depends. I don't know. We're talking about different exchanges. Um, I don't know. Good question, I guess. Kind of over my head. Agree, cover, Misty. She says, Judy. Yeah, maybe. Uh, crypto... Is like now you see it now you don't and boogie hey and boogie um the average distribution of fepi has been 118 so far yeah it's going to be around there they'll probably make it 120 sounds better all right let me continue my spreadsheet before i can't think anymore all right so let's see how this works i never use the uh insert one row above Hopefully it doesn't bold, uh, bolded. All right, so I need to copy. I'm new to MacBook and I suck at it. Was it 2130? So I have to update this formula. What the hell? Take that. There you go. Okay. So now oh, this is very annoying. All right. So I added that. And then I got to add it down here, unfortunately. Insert row below paste okay now we got to update these formulas For 90 And then my reaction, <coughs> they're not so smart anymore, right? I got to I gotta update my emoji. Let me check the comments real quick. Um, what, what would Coney Synthetic be if they close out the 250? I know they aren't, but interested to know. Well, the synthetic would be the at the month. It would be at the money. So whatever coins price is today, that's what the new synthetic would be. Because anytime they make a synthetic position... Um, you know, it's always going to be at the money. So let's go back to this Misty. Um, so yeah, now they have, uh, they're underwater, man. This guy, I got to update this emoji. I don't know if I, how do I do, uh, emojis on this on the computer? I'll have to do that on my phone tomorrow, but let's check out the payment information. Weekly call. Now generating a dollar twenty-seven didn't really move the needle. So if they, you know, total, they could they could pay out twelve oh eight. Which, by the way, I, I keep hearing people quote me. 
saying I estimated 1208. I'm not saying they're going to pay $12.08, okay? They're not. At most they'll pay half and they'll preserve the nav, but it'll the only reason they'd pay high is just for for show, right? To show off like say eh, 300% yield, but who knows. Bob Davis CBO Evix is a volatility index as vol derives off CBO Evix. So when we blab about volatility, what benchmark measurement is accurate? I mean, we're all making money off the volatility, so I'm curious. Well, let's go to my formula, see where I pull it from. It's an old formula I stole from someone way back when. Pulls from alphaquery.com. Volatility statistics. That doesn't really tell us much. Good question, though. Bob Davis is a very smart man. He needs to have his own YouTube. Maybe you do. Do you, Bob? How much would we make on the two? F well, Project X, I won't know that till tomorrow because I'll need the latest figures. When they when they post the holdings, then I could see how much it's worth. So you'll see that tomorrow morning uh, when I post the Coney video. Not that I'm, you know, holding it back. But again, I, I know it as of Friday. I don't know it as of the close today you know coin went up today so obviously it's worth more all right it's 556 let's see if they posted anything nope oh you're welcome looks like kamara's live I should uh, put his Discord on my YouTube. That'd be pretty funny. Bob Davis, not so smart, just hate losing money. <laughs> hey, you do, you obviously uh, do your research. That, is, that shows. All right, let's refresh their website again. Oh my God, of course. All right, guys, I'm going to wait another five minutes. If they don't post it, you know, I'm going to have to log off. My family's getting antsy. You may hear some disruption in the background but while we're on here any other questions on anything i did not plan to go live for an hour more than an hour at this point this was this was completely uh not part of the plan but it just happened all right so i'll close up misty and I'll pull up coney and we can go to their spreadsheet So their holdings, if you look, they have an S for sell. So they sold call and the BC buy to close the put. So they closed 415 contracts from the 250. And again, today's 325. And that's another negative. What we say, 445? Oh my God, 415. 415. Oh, whoops. What happened? 415. There you go. All right. Let's check StreamYard again. You're not covering MD much. Quick opinion. I don't know. It's, it's the baby. I'd rather own... You know, it's daddy, NVIDIA, but I don't know enough about AMD, but I, I don't, I think they're, you know, another great option. I just did not want to over allocate myself into the, uh, the chip world question to the hive here, best book or research to learn about stocks in general. What is your largest, well, best book? This is one of the best books. What? Five minutes. That's one of the best books. All right. The, the, there's another one. It's green. I forget the name. I think it's called. It might be called How to Retire on Dividends or something. What's your largest ultra high yield holding minus Tesla? 
my highest yielder is Coney, um, right at the moment. How's the running going? Health and wealth. <coughs> I ran eight miles, no, 8.25 miles on Sunday. Somehow it was okay. It was rough. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to try to run 10 this weekend. We'll see how that goes. Um, Bob Davis stocks in general, invest the P online easily. Yeah. Online, man. That's right. Appreciate the, the wreck. All right, guys, it's 6 p.m. Thank you, health and wealth. It's 6 p.m. Let's check the Twitter. Maybe they scheduled it. Nothing. Check the email. Hey, Max, what's going on? Guys, Max Convexity is here. If you don't know him, go check out his YouTube channel. No email either. I'm only going to give him a few minutes after this. Because now the wife's yelling at me. Nothing. Wow. AMD looks like a 60 cent distribution so far this month. Look at look at Happy Camper stepping in. AMD, AMD predictions are ready. Look at that. 60 cent. I don't know. I don't know if that's good or bad for them. I'll have to check. But let me finish my Coney update here. So they they sold a call, which means they made 45.60 per share. And that produced 1.8 million. Maybe they did, they did this earlier in the day. Uh, but to close the put, 1480. They paid 1480 to close. Well, they're priced. Yeah. All right. So the strike is 250. Coin is above that. So obviously, anything they have to close on the synthetic is is money. Right. So overall, they made about one point two million dollars on this synthetic, which will now add to our loss for the March profits for the synthetic a loss of five million now. Right. So if we check this formula. I guess it doesn't highlight, but it pulls D2 to E11. OK, so now. Let's see if. The tweet got there yet? Oh my God! Don't tell me I waited till six for nothing. Wow. Yay! Rex website is not refreshed yet. Bummer. Happy camper. AMD needs to be sub one eighty five this Thursday. Fingers crossed for AMD. Okay. Yeah, my true serenity. It's not updated. Check the Twitter. Nothing. All right, let's go back to the spreadsheet. This is probably the most boring live people had. Hey, Max, just saw your video on post-market review defiance funds. Hey, Max has uh, some good late-night content if you guys want to watch him. All right, so what do we do, right? So they sold. Well, this can all get grayed out now. Okay, so I have to break this up now. I have to insert a line and separate this out because they sold the 267.50, right? Right here. They took, um, well, they didn't sell. They buy to close it, uh, 415 contracts, and they paid $19.48, 
if we look how much they got, they only got 775 per share for opening. So this is going to be a loss um, for those, you know, that amount of contracts. Obviously, they made money on the synthetic closing that position, but they're losing money on the weekly call. So you don't want to lose money at all, realistically, but it is what it is. And I just checked the refresh, nothing. Email, last chance, last call, guys. Refreshing. Max convexity. I'm, I am trying to learn how to do live streams, so I am over here spying on ROD. I am not the person to follow. This is this is the probably, you know, the most clueless live stream out there. But basically, I'm using StreamYard, and I just hit go live. Who doesn't love a 35% yield? I do. Green screen, Max C, and a giant logo. Yeah, that's what at least I figured out that part to do the logo, uh, even though it's cut off, but all good. Mm -hmm. Any update? Good Lord. Nothing. I just got StreamYard. There you go. Yeah, the next time I'll, I'm going to add you, Max, maybe one of these Mondays, I'll add you. As a guest, if you're ever available when I go live, um, we'll see how that works. Bob Davis, I was expecting more. I'm greedy. Thanks, ROD. Good stuff. See you later. Dinner time. Yeah, Bob Davis, me too. I'm getting yelled at upstairs. I already hear it. Um, all right. I apologize, guys, but the uh, distribution is uh, not being announced. So I'll check Twitter one more time. But all in all, I guess it was an experience to go live, you know, learn as we go um, and go from there. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching. As always, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This video is for fun and entertainment. If you enjoyed this content, please hit like. Obviously, you know, next time we do live streams, I'm always going to put the Discord on. So join the Discord if you want to have a live conversation, which means you'll be on youtube just so you know um you're welcome cranky muffin and you're welcome my true serenity um but yeah this is new this is gonna this is all new to me so but bear with me i'll do one more refresh for twitter i got nothing and one more refresh for email and i got nothing all right guys um, i'll post the uh distribution tomorrow morning on my morning video and we'll go from there all right have a good night enjoy dinner everyone later